Welcome to Herbert Squarry! In there for all your sweets, kids! Hey up guys, it's Lee from Sun Earth Pitch. How are you doing? Out today in the beautiful Black Mountains. And uh, yeah, we're, on a, we're trying to go lightweight today, so we prepped us kit. We chose wisely, we hope. And uh, I'll show you how we got here anyway. Watch this. Morning guys. Me and Jamie have just got up to the uh, trig up at Garreg Lloyd, I think it's pronounced. No idea though. And uh, we are being tracked down and hunted by a man behind us in the distance. <laughs> if I can find him. Oh, he's gone somewhere. Sure the yeah. He's got a baby on his back and we've got fuck all on his backs. <laughs> he's catching us. So we need to find a downhill section where we can leave him. Whew. A lovely day though. Ah, oh, there he is. I can see him now. I couldn't see him before. Can't pick him up on this thing though. That's because he's miles away and we burnt him off. <laughs> Here we are then, at the top of the cairn, up at Volvreif. <laughs> or something like that. Are you seeing the distance? Where are we? Yeah, seeing the distance, that's over there, is where we've just come from. Started to sweat buckets now. But, fucking glorious day. Nice and flat at this section as well, so. Not really sure where we're off next. Somewhere fucking behind me somewhere. That's the next one's a good run through to see. What's the next one then? Khan Kevin Vadog. Khan Kevin Vadog. Sounds like a football player. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sign for Man City. Right. Fucking hell, nearly fell over. Catch up with you later on when I stop sweating as much. <laughs> Those dark clouds do look shocking behind us, like. Yeah. <sighs> up on some crags somewhere. Heading up now. Nah, over there somewhere towards the Bat Cave. And see Batman and Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Robin the boy wonder. <sighs> it's nice with that breeze because I'm fucking sweating like a pig. It's been a bit warm. Mm, very warm. I have to find some uh, find some water in a bit. We've both got uh, I got the Acri Pure Traveller, and uh, Jamie's got a very similar device. I think it's uh, I'm not sure what make it is. We'll see it in a bit, but we're gonna find some putrid water somewhere and filter that straight through the bottle and drink straight out. So it'll be my first test using it on sort of stale water or standing water. I've always used it on a a river, so. Be interesting to see. I know it's going to filter all the viruses and particles out. I still think it's not going to taste right up to much, but Whew. stunning views, though. Cracking. Right, we we'll push further on. Try and find these uh, back cave things. If I don't break my ankle first. Don't know if you can see in the distance. That's just there, the nipple right on the top, that's where, that's the first summit we did. Now we've come along there, down, along up this uh, this elevated area in front of us, all the way down, and we've come and found ourselves all the way along these stones and these crags. And uh, Jamie's just doing a quick map check. We're on the right road. <laughs> well, that's always positive to you. We're heading somewhere up there. Searching for some lost scrumpy in a bat cave. <laughs> <laughs> like pirates looking for rum. Why? Because we are! <laughs> Welcome to Garrett Glass! Home of the two nipples. Not us two, then behind us. We're two tits. <laughs> Whew. Hanging. But I've been reassured that it is all downhill to the bat cave and the potential of something wet and cold <laughs> if something's not been there already 
Lee Nulty, if you've been there and cleared out your ciders and put us on a false hope, then uh, I'm going to stick an extra 100 grams in your bag next time we go out. Yeah, fill his bag with rocks. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get past these big... Look, are the cairns are fucking huge if the cairns. Them black clouds are still following us. Oh, baby daddy's gone as well. That bloke carrying baby. He must have copped out like he's not behind us anymore. He couldn't handle the pacey. He couldn't, he couldn't handle the pressure we put him under. <laughs> he's folding like a Kit Kat. <laughs> That's where we come from, all the way back over there. That and there, with my fingers caressing. Well, I thought I'd lost a walking pole then, I could only see one. Hmm. We'll go back and find it in the morning. Right, we are. We've got the back caves just behind us. But we've stopped now to take advantage of this lovely watering hole here. So, I've got the, uh, like I said, Aqua Pure Traveller. And Jamie has got... That's a cool one there. Got the uh, Camelback with a life straw. See how this works. Yeah, we're not neither of us have tested these on water as fine as this, <laughs> so we'll we'll go and fill up and then we'll see which one gets the squits. <laughs> Filling up, I'm, I'm bound to fall in there with this bag on, aren't I? Are you going <laughs> to be top heavy? So I am top heavy. I've been top heavy all my life. Yours has got a nice wide neck on it, hasn't it? I'm going to bite your water bottle here as well. That looks pretty. Not many bits in it. No. I'll try this and then we can have a... Well, you can see in your bottle, you can't see in mine. Mine did have vodka in to start. Is that for boiling, is it that one? I saw your fits onto this. Oh, right. Oh, cool. Yeah. Right, we are now up at Carrig Aragoff. 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 Bat cave place. <laughs> so we're now going to have a minute taking these little views and uh, try and find uh, the infamous bat cave. What we should do is throw a bat symbol up in air at night and then when we see Batmobile come flying out. It should ride one. That's it. Yeah. If you can see that just above us there, that that they're the two nipple cairns we just come from. And in the distance. if you can see in the distance, I think it's that one there, the far one in the distance, is where we the first summit we hit. So we come all the way around. Pretty up here, mind. Very pretty. Right, let's go find a cave. I'll be right disappointed if it's not actually a cave as well. Well, we have found one cave. We don't know how many caves are here. We found one cave, so it's worth an explore. Take this kit off. I don't know if I've head torch in it though. Does it look like it leads anywhere? Yeah. Oh. I, mean, I think this joins up with all the all right. Dan Roper caves probably. Oh Christ. You don't want to be popping through there. Well it goes miles. Yeah. Yeah. I think this yeah. all these hillsides are full of caves. So we're down now at the entrance of the cave. And you see it goes back a little bit like but I don't know how keen I am to go crawling in that. I'm hoping there's a bigger one. Can't see a ration pack down there, so whoever's uh, someone's been here at some point, there's signs of people. But yeah, I'm not sure how keen I am to crawl in there. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Oh, 
I'd say it doesn't go very far from there then. Yeah, so uh, this is not the cave we are looking for. There's no Batman in here. I might go and ask these horses here. Hey, lads, does the, does the know where cave is? We're going to lightweight now. We've got in stealth mode. Backpacks are off. Look at that. Still no sign of the elusive uh, bat cave. And these these fellas aren't much good. Say no, are they? Absolutely no. I asked them where. Can you tell me where it is? They said nay. Sorry again for the wind, hopefully it's not catching my mic as much because I've had to get, put me back to it. Uh, I'm out in the Lanshan 2 Pro, Jamie is out in the Lanshan 1. Uh, I'll take you inside, I'll give you a show round because I've got a new piece of kit and I'm hoping it's going to be a bit of a, a game changer, I hope. Come on. There's a hell of a gale blowing up here so tent's a bit flappy wappy. Don't worry about that though, we're all pegged in. Right, this new bit of kit I want to show you, so if you've been following the channel you'll know that up to now I've sort of gone for the cheaper sort of options with the mats and I usually use a Trekology UL80 which while it is comfy it's just got no sort of R value or heat benefit and you just, it's like sleeping on a block of ice sometimes. So I've put my hand in my pocket and I've decided to uh, get a new air mat. I went for the uh, Xped. 7R, which uh, if you believe what it says on the stats, it'll take you down to comfortably down to uh, minus 30. I went for the mummy one, I'll show you now. So it, here she is. Can you see that? Yeah, Xped 7R mummy. So, first trial tonight. I'm hoping it's going to be really warm because I'm hoping. Now I've got this, I know it's going to be too hot for summer, but now I've got this, I'm hoping I can really scrimp and uh, cut back on my uh, sleeping system. So I'm hoping to get a, a quilt rather than a sleeping bag. I've only gone for my small down sleeping bag today from Nature Hike. So hopefully this is going to reflect my body heat. The sleeping bag is going to catch the body heat and hopefully I'll be uh, warm all night. Well that's the theory anyway, but I'll let you know in the morning how that goes. Anyway, me and Jamie have gone down now, after the winds, we're going to have a brew. We sampled some of that water we had earlier. I'll cut away to that now. This is as a river water as well. Well, not river water, is it like foul bog water? <laughs> <coughs> that weren't the taste that I just squirted a bit of air in my mouth for here. But it's not actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. And yeah, it tastes all right. It, it really does taste all right. It's, uh, it doesn't look the best, but it tastes all right. And it's going to be certainly good enough to boil up some food later on. By the way, if you watch my last video, you'll know the last time I took this tent out, it, uh, it let me down massively. There was a vapor coming through it, like misting through when the rain hit. We're not expecting any rain tonight, but what I did to try and counter that is I got some Fabsil gold and I had the tents up in the garden on a nice day. I went over it with Fabsil Gold and applied that, so I'm hoping that uh, that'll be a game changer again, I hope. But if not, OEX Bush Pro, uh, Bush Pro Bivy is going to be my insurance policy, just in case, because I can get the down sleeping bag in that and I'll be all right. Everything else will go inside my pack and that'll have a, a dry bag in it, so nothing, nothing will really get wet other than the bivy if it does fail me but we're not on no rain forecast tonight so I think she'll be all right famous last words eh and now on his way back up to the cairn that I couldn't pronounce earlier to uh, come and meet some of the other lads that are camping what we passed probably I don't know a few mile back anyway yeah. so this is going to be well, by the time we get back, probably mile 11 today. Wow. Whew, we've got a sweat on, but we've now reached the uh, said meeting location between us and the other happy campers that are coming from over there somewhere, but we think they're going to pop up around there. I'll show you if I just scoot around, it's sunning my eyes. 
that there, that little mound in the distance is where we travelled from. So, fingers crossed, this had all been a big wind up and they're not coming. But uh, that'll be a bit naff. This is the admin area. We found somewhere where we can cook and uh, there's a little bit more sheltered. Oh, well, it don't look that bad though, does it? That's... You can't see what I can see in this. No. It's sure it'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words. You know in the morning. Yeah. They had brown skin and they built this most incredible... Time to get some lunch on. I've got... 800 calorie mac and cheese from Expedition Foods. Fucking freeze dried meal. I ain't had this flavour, but I've had these meals before and they are absolutely banging. What have you got, Jamie? I've got Adventure Nutrition. Oh. Chicken tikka masala and rice. 600 calories. Courtesy of Lee at the bug out. Cheers, Lee. Thank you, mate. Nice one, Lee. You just, uh, had a nice little ramble and now we're going to cook up some food <sighs> sweating now we've got an absolute beautiful sunset here we up coming from behind there somewhere get me a lack of coat sun as well probably have Food's ready now anyway. Macaroni and cheese. Lovely. Bugger. How's yours? Right. Nice. Cool. Right, I'm gonna smash these, listen to a couple of podcasts and enjoy this sunset that's coming over behind it. Catch you later. Right in the tent now, it's all gone dark, so uh, just videoing, mate. <laughs> yeah, in the tent now, oh, it's all dark outside, so and I dropped off, so I thought we'd be getting the tent, it's warmed up. Laid on this R7 Exped mat, fucking absolutely boiling, which is nice because it's a bit chilly outside. Uh, we are due. Uh, rain during the night as well so the look from like it's from three till three till six or three till five so i guess i'll find out how uh how well the fab still gold did on here but i'm in my insurance uh my insurance bivy bag so we should be all right still but i'll get back to you in the morning then i'll see how this tent's got on catch you later oh morning guys uh windy blustery rainy morning but the uh fab seal seems to have held out i have got a little uh pool of water but i'll uh, turn it in a minute and show you what the condition's like as you can see it's a bit windy in here and yeah most of the water has come from uh blowing up under the edges there so I can't really do a lot about that because it's uh, blowing a hula. Right, I'll get to get up and get dressed. <laughs> it's a bit different to yesterday, isn't it? Apologies for the wind now guys, but we're sort of nearly back now, we've come a different route, we're going to end up through the quarry now and work our way up, but it, the rain has just eased off, but it's just been hammering it down all morning, the clag is in, you can't see a lot, up to some essentials there, do you have it, rolling a fag when it's dry, 
and all this fucking kit's drenched up. Look, yeah. So not far to go, not far to go. Like, like a drowned rat. Good beard and kit. Yeah. So we're off now, following this track over my shoulder, and that'll bring us out of the quarry. And then uh, we'll probably update you. Maybe update you when we get back to the car, maybe not. So this might be the last time I see you. If it is, thanks ever so much for watching if you made it this far. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and you'll be able to see us do some more of this stupid stuff. Uh, yeah. Cheers. Uh, catch you next time. Laters. Oh, update. We never found that scrum pick because we went to the wrong location. Never mind, eh? Welcome to Herbert Squarry! In there for all your sweets, kids! <laughs> 12 and a half thousand steps we've done up the way back. What did we do yesterday? 20 and a bit. 20 and a bit. 20,000. Yeah, not just 20 and a bit steps, yeah. So we come a different route, but yeah. We're almost back now, almost back. We can smell the warmth of the vehicles. <laughs>